Meet Mindy. Mindy is pregnant with her little boy Leo. You often hear Mindy telling her husband Danny, the fitness junkie, that she's eating for two now and she's allowed to eat whatever she wants. But what does she mean by this? How does her baby eat what she eats? In other words, how does the food that she eats provide nourishment for her unborn child? Let's investigate, shall we? The woman's reproductive system is made up of the uterine wall, fallopian tubes, ovaries, and the vagina. The ovaries contain the unfertilized egg. Once fertilized, it travels down the fallopian tubes and implants on the uterine wall. During pregnancy, an organ called the placenta develops to provide nutrients from the mother to the fetus. The placenta connects the mother's uterine wall to the baby through the umbilical cord. The umbilical cord is made up of two arteries and one vein. The vein brings nutrient and oxygen-rich blood from the mother to the fetus. The arteries pump out blood that is nutrient and oxygen poor back into the mother so that it may collect these things from her body and bring it back to the baby. In this manner, whatever Mindy eats gets passed on to Leo and helps him grow. But hang on a second, what if Mindy eats all that junk food? What happens if she doesn't get the vitamin and minerals that she needs? What happens if she's overweight during her pregnancy? Science is not totally certain of the factors that lead to premature birth, but they say that these factors can contribute to it. Babies that are born prematurely are called preterm babies. These babies usually have a significantly low birth weight and their bodies are underdeveloped in comparison to full-term babies. Preterm infants are much more prone to infections such as tetanus. They also have trouble breathing which occurs due to a deficiency in a substance called surfactant which is found in your lungs. These babies are also at a greater risk of having neurological impairments during their development. This may include visual impairment and conditions such as cerebral palsy, which is a type of movement disorder. Research has found that when babies are born prematurely, the mother's breast milk is deficient in essential nutrients such as proteins and fats. Many studies have looked into this issue, particularly Dr. Christoph Fuchs, the head of the neonatal research program at McMaster University. Dr. Fuchs and his colleagues noticed that the current feeding regimens by hospitals was inadequate for the healthy development of preterm infants. Therefore, they proposed a few intervention strategies. By fortifying the mother's breast milk with additional fats, they were able to increase the amount of this essential nutrient in the diets of these preterm babies. Dr. Fuchs and his colleagues noticed that these strategies showed promising results as there was an improvement in the growth of preterm babies. They chose to add fats over carbohydrates and proteins as fats give you 9 calories per gram consumed whereas the other two only give you about 4 calories per gram. So clearly this gets you the best bang for your buck. Now that we've explored some of the factors that lead to premature birth, we can safely tell Mindy that it's probably better to eat the healthy foods than all of that junk. However, knowing Mindy, she probably is not going to listen to us, so let's just say this. If Leo is a preterm baby, neonatal research done by scientists such as Dr. Fuchs will allow Leo to lead a long and healthy life.